so what what is what what happens here with college football then like what is what is the answer i mean there there has to be an answer this just can't keep going on the way that it's going on and um i know obviously with television contracts it can and money's flowing it can but it just seems to me that there has to be and and every coach wants some sort of rules do. I, I don't think everybody's like the kids shouldn't well there's probably some of the say kids shouldn't be paid at all which is i think ridiculous but there's got to be something that can be done what it is does. It? what I, is it look i think what you're going to have to do is the conference commissioners really the big 10 the sec the acc and the big 12 are going to have to say look football's great and we can make a lot of money organizing college football in a different kind of way yes but if we're doing that and it's not benefiting all the other student athletes, we're actually, we're missing the mark here and we're not doing our job and we're not actually serving the universities. I mean, UCLA, we're proud of all those athletes and student athletes who do incredible things. The and history on, of it, my it's, goodness. It's incredible. And so we're gonna miss that. If they don't take that ownership of that responsibility and, 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 and embrace it, they're gonna be the ones who get blamed for it. And the system right now is totally screwed. So to your point, the guy at Utah gave every football player a pickup truck, right? The, some car dealer gave every player a football truck. Mm -hmm. But if Kyle Whittingham gives the quarterback a ride home because it's snowing to his <laughs> dorm, it's an NCAA violation. It's like the system is ass backwards. And you've got to create a level playing field on the payment. You can't have just unlimited pay because what you see is it's going to rip apart locker rooms and it's going to rip apart culture and it's going to rip apart what makes college athletics special because if it's professional football and sort of the Kate, Caitlin Clark conversation people have been having is if Caleb Williams really made $10 million at USC, does he really have to, you know, if, if USC is now essentially professional football, yes. does he really have to ever leave USC? It's, I mean, it sounds crazy, but it's not so crazy. Well, I mean, it's been like old school though, right? Well, <laughs> it'll be like Will is, Ferrell showing up, you know, at age 48. But if you're, I don't know, but, if you're a university of Michigan cannot operate a professional football team, no, I, and I understand that that's the construct of it. That's why we we, we got to get everyone together. And I don't know if it is Greg Sankey. I I flat out, when he zoomed in, flat out said, Base, can you be commissioner? And he laughed, <laughs> you know, and I'm sure there's Tony Petiti in yep. the Big Ten. And because these are major television entities now. Massive. Okay, I mean, major. I mean, look at the number that, that, that ESPN just signed with the college football playoff for, it, that, that number is insane. Like, insane. The, it, I, I'm just the NFL is probably the only bigger deal that it's they have got per right? game. The cost per game, right? The NFL is the only thing that generates more revenue per game than those 14 team playoffs. That's it, right? So that's that's where they this has now gotten. And so the question is: is somebody's got to get together, and then we got to figure out which schools are involved, which schools are in, which aren't, and then figure out which schools that aren't could potentially play into it, some sort of relegation, similar to you. what we see over in Europe. I completely agree. I actually think and the NFL has an opportunity to be a real leader here because if you think about it from the NFL's perspective, let's say there's only 64 teams or 48, pick your number, playing real Division One, whatever you want to call it, football. Correct. You've lost half of your developmental system if right. you're the NFL, from 110 to 64. That's not good for the business of the NFL. Right. And you've also now essentially empowered a competitor. I mean, you may not want to think of it as a competitor, but if you take those 48 teams and they only play each other, does the NFL really want USC Michigan on a Thursday night against a New Orleans Tampa Bay game? Not anything wrong with New Orleans Tampa Bay, but USC Michigan is a pretty powerful game. Notre Dame, Texas, you know, like. There are, they, they, listen, you know who you're talking <laughs> right. to, right? You, you know there's a roof over my head and I love being an NFL guy. Yes. But there are some college football rivalries that over a team, two teams that say in late October are three games under 500 Correct. apiece. It's not even close. It, it, it would be a dicey uh, And so I actually think the ratings. NFL can be a leader and say, look, the economics of college football need to change and be recognition of the money that's created and the value that the players drive. But let's not lose sight of the value that college football can support the entire ecosystem. Mm -hmm. And I actually think the NFL can say, look, we can create, we can help solve the problem, not take control of college football, but sort of create the pathway. Yes. And use that as a means to save all these Olympic sports that are good for this country. And by the way, the other thing, think about Paris Olympics this summer. There'll be a hundred athletes competing in Paris for countries not for not United States, not the United States, 
mm-hmm. who went to college for free and got their athletic training at American universities. We train our competitors. Talk about power and soft power and the met, like that's a powerful thing. All those things are gonna go away if we don't fix this problem. So you think the NFL could be the one, the entity to actually come to pu- in and- To push right. the institutions to do what's right to maintain the sanctity of non-football sports. I think the NFL has a real opportunity to be a leader in that movement. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.